has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial. Darkest Dungeon tells a story about a fall from grace and an attempt at redemption. You are called back to your old estate by your ancestor after he has unearthed a terrible creature that might doom the planet. And since he, you know, killed himself because of the grief and guilt of unleashing such a monstrosity on the world, uh, you know, now you have to stop it. Yeah, okay. No big. I just have to kill something that might destroy the world. You fight abominations, both human and something else entirely. The game is heavily inspired by the Cthulhu mythos of H.P. Lovecraft. They even got a narrator of Lovecraft audiobooks to do narration. Once again, the stars are right, and the manor sits at the very epicenter of cosmic unrest. Cultists rally to their twisted idols, and great gongs sound in anticipation of the coming sacrifices. It's an RPG with a gothic flavor. You got your basic RPG elements. You have different character classes. You can buy skills when they level up. You can also upgrade their weapons and armor. The strategy aspect comes into play when you have to consider the psychological toll it takes on your characters. Each time they venture into a dungeon or take damage, they will have an increase in stress. If you get your stress too high, they will have to pass a resolve check which will either break them or make them stronger. The game is brutal. The graphics help with this oppressive feeling. It's dark. You barely see anyone's eyes. Except for this boss because he's holding his fucking eyes. Nothing feels warm and comforting. But there's Beneath the overly dark game, we have a more malevolent truth. Warning! Spoilers! If you haven't finished the game, this is your last chance to turn back. First off, a clip from one of the best shows of all time. Someone once told me time is a flat circle. If everything we've ever done or will do, we're going to do over and over and over again. And that little boy and that little girl, they're going to be in that room again. And again. And again. The game reinforces this idea of repetition. You don't notice it at first. You're grinding for levels in an RPG. Of course there's going to be repetition. But in order to make any progress in the game, you have to fight the bosses in the game's four major areas before you even have a chance in the titular Darkest Dungeon. And these bosses are the same. You fight them over and over again. They're at a higher level, sure, but they are essentially the same. Also, see this random boss encounter, the Collector. If this is really your first time wandering these dungeons, either as the player or the heir, how come he has the heads of your characters as ghosts? In fact, a loot drop you can get in the game is Dismas's head. You know, the guy you have with you as your first companion. The intro cinematic also hints at this repetition. The ancestor gives us a taste of what lies ahead. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. Notice that the shot lingers on the ghost, urging you to go back. Now let's watch the ending. Victory. A hollow and ridiculous notion. We are born of this thing, made from it, and we will be returned to it in time. The great family of man. A profusion of errant flesh, multiplying, swarming, living, Dying until the stars align in their inexorable formation, and what sleeps is roused once more to hatch from this fragile shell of earth and rock 
and bring our inescapable end. So that's it. You're part of this formless mass of flesh that will inevitably destroy the planet. But that's not the worst part. The choices that you've made in this game, the people that have died in your service along the way, only to delay the inevitable. That will take its toll on your mind. So seek solace in a manner befitting your lineage. And take up your mutatory vigil. It's the same ghost in the intro cinematic. What does this mean? You have done this before, and you will do it again. Forever. The game is just being true to its roots. The central theme of Lovecraft's works has always been the futility of human endeavor. Mankind is but a speck in the universe, and anything he does will tantamount to nothing. This is reinforced in the game. Not only did your actions amount to nothing, your actions will amount to nothing forever. And I think that is the most terrible thing to know. Echoing through the infinite blackness of space and time. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that.